Hello there! In this day and age, when the most popular singers appear to be either teenagers or stupidly dressed and fake, it's refreshing to see a successful one who is genuinely having fun and does not rely on ridiculous costumes and other tuning to create a hit song. And probably my favorite singer-songwriter these days is none other than Zoe De Chanel. Not only does she write and sing some great music, but she's a very good actress as well. De Chanel's big breakout role was a part in Cameron Crowe's Almost Famous, playing the sister of the lead character who introduces him to the wonders of rock and roll. Right there was evident the incredible talent that she displayed. Shortly thereafter, she became a very acclaimed actress in independent films like The Good Girl and All the Real Girls. Around the same time, she began to show her singing skills in her acting roles. The first time she sang on screen was in the comedy The New Guy, but it wasn't until Elf that her singing began to be seen and appreciated by a wide audience. Thus, she found a new niche as a singer and an actress. She continued to take on new fun roles like that of Trillian in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I'm incredibly disappointed did not lead to a whole film series based on Douglas Adams' books. She even started doing voiceover roles like the Penguin Lifeguard in Surf's Up, which showed she could bring her genuine sweetness to animated birds, as well as a cute on-screen persona. And she also played a Monday version of Dorothy Gale in the Tin Man miniseries inspired by The Wizard of Oz. In 2008, she launched her first album with guitarist M. Ward, in which they go under the band name She and Him. This was an excellent compilation of original songs that they wrote, with Zoe Deschanel singing and Ward naturally playing the guitar. Volume 1 established their style, with 1970s inspired ditties that inspired good feelings with wishful lyrics and bubbly melodies. Why Do You Let Me Stay Here is definitely the highlight of the album, with its catchy tune and its creative lyrics, though the other songs in the collection are fantastic, with Sweet Darling being another one that brings nothing more but incredibly positive feelings whenever I hear it. While other singers tend to look overly serious when recording, I can imagine that Zoe Deschanel looks like she's having a lot of fun bringing to life these songs she has written. In 2010, she and him released Volume 2, and I actually feel it tops the first album. Songs like Don't Look Back inspire a great sense of nostalgia with its classic musical style bringing us back to simpler times without the need to auto-tune and overdo everything just to become an internet sensation. Nope, Zoe Deschanel is just being herself and that's incredibly refreshing and a large part of why I love her song so much. My favorite song of hers also appears here, entitled In the Sun, which is a classic story of a teenager trying to win the affections of another classmate. It's a universal theme, but it's really the happy-go-lucky bounce of the song that leaves me listening to it over and over and over again. The music video is also an excellent one, with Deschanel having fun on the set dancing around a school with one great choreographed step after another. If you want to get into the songs of She and Him, this is the perfect one to start with. 2011 has been a very bad year for Zoe Deschanel. In addition to her usual film roles, she provided her vocals to a couple of songs in the new Winnie the Pooh feature. She did an excellent job providing her rendition of a classic Sherman Brothers theme song that opens the film. She also provided an original song for the end credits titled So Long that perfectly encompasses the whole idea of Winnie the Pooh and what makes him such a special character in our eyes. Zoe Deschanel is also starring on a fantastic and very funny sitcom on the Fox network about a young teacher who moves into an apartment owned by three men rather perplexed by her quirkiness. However, to me that quirkiness is a large part of why I love that character and the show so much. I find myself watching the show with a big smile on my face and laughing all the way through. Jess is such a likable character and Deschanel plays off her male co-stars very well. She even had a hand in writing the theme song, which she of course performs with absolute delight. I definitely recommend giving it a watch, and being a show I like on Fox, I was worried it would be quickly cancelled, but it has thankfully been incredibly successful. Of course, giving it a time slot right after Glee helped, and some nights, it has even managed to beat that show in the ratings. I'm so incredibly pleased that this show is so successful, as it richly deserves it. And just recently, Zoe Deschanel and M. Ward released their new album, A Very She and Him Christmas, in which she covers some notable Christmas tunes, and I think she did a great job, as usual. In conclusion, Zoe Deschanel is easily my favorite singer out there right now. She has such a bubbly and infectious personality, it comes off in her songs as well. 
And if you want to have a break from the Beavers and Googles that are slowly crumbling the music industry, she and him will bring back faith that there are still singers and musicians out there who are still putting effort into writing listenable tunes. Add in her acting roles, especially New Girl, and you have somebody who you just can't help but smile when she appears on screen. See you next time.